everyone, Dr. Colleen here. This video will be all about strengthening and stretching the chest area. We are going to be working on the pec major, pec minor, the serratus anterior, and the subclavius is also involved in all of this. So big words if you want to look them up to see their pictures, but we, we're just going to be working this area here. Now remember, these are demonstrations for exercises to help you build the knowledge of the word that goes with the exercise and then the proper form. Okay, we're going to work in the 9 to 15, working up to one set first, two set, and then either adding weight for the third or going on to just the third set, making the last two of the 9 to 15 challenging but proper form, okay? And we're gonna breathe during all of these. And then we'll get to the stretches in a moment. All right, I am just going to be using eight pounds for this series since I'm demonstrating that I'm usually using my 10 pounds or my 10 pounds with my ankle weights on my arms, only because I don't have the neck size up yet at the house. Okay, so um, I am in barefoot. You do not have to be in barefoot. Um, I tend to work out um, in barefoot when I'm at home just to be working on balance challenge as well, except for when it's a heavy leg day. Then I do um, put my shoes with my orthotics in because I am weight bearing for that. Okay, so we are going to start off in our um, lying down position. And I like to have the weights about at my hips so they're right where I need them to be when I want to pick them up and I'm not reaching around the floor trying to find them. Okay, from here, we're going to engage our belly. Again, I'm not completely socked into the mat, but it might happen as I'm executing movements, but it's engaged. I don't want to be too, too arched at this point. My feet are in line with my knees, which are in line with my hips. And again, you can place a block between the knees that would work your inner thighs a bit more or a band, which is usually what I do around working the outer stability muscles here. Okay, so from this position, we're going to safely engage the belly, walk those weights up, okay, and then bend at the elbows, okay. Notice nothing in my upper body moved during that. Okay, so our basic chest press is coming out to 90-90. Again, we're soft with our fingers, but we have a nice grip so we don't lose the weight. Our wrists are neutral. Okay, we don't want any bent wrists. We want them nice and neutral. So that might not mean your weight is straight, or it might just all depends on the style of the weight that you have. But I'm about out, straight out from my shoulder, just slightly down from that. We're gonna inhale. I like to do the belly out, exhale. We're gonna bring those weights up. Now my wrists are in line with my elbows, in line with my shoulders. And then we're gonna slowly lower that down. I usually suggest when we're beginning with these to do two counts up. And now I'm squeezing my chest together and then two counts down. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, check those wrists, soften just a little, and two counts down. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, lower down. Okay, the head, the neck, the shoulders are nice and relaxed. And again, I like the band or the block between the knees because the tendency is your knees to kind of just drop together and lower down. Let's do one more. Squeeze and lower down. Okay, since we're here, I'm going to bring my elbows back to my side. This is close grip chest press. Again, make sure the wrists are on top of the elbows and they're neutral. Soft grip soft fingers but a, a good grip spread out those toes get the belly ready inhale exhale and now we're just shooting right out from our sides up towards the ceiling and then as we come down 
our elbows and arms just kind of shear the sides of our bodies. Inhale, exhale up. Check those wrists and lower down. Again. Kind of accentuate that breath so you hear it and don't be shy, especially if you're working out at home, but not even at the gym. Don't worry about it. You really want to push that air out. Breath work in the working out is just as beneficial as the moving and the strengthening. And last one. And then all the way down. Okay. So I'm in a bit of a tricky spot with this bench nearby to go fully into a chest fly. So I'm going to do the best I can, but you're really going to watch this arm, <laughs> even though this arm is going to have to kind of bend a little weird, which you might not even see from the camera angle. Okay. So chest fly is next. From here, again, elbows. Just lift those weights up, get them in a safe, secure position. Inhale, exhale. Get them up to our starting position. So now the starting position is up here with the straight arms, wrist neutral, soft fingers with a nice good grip. And then we're going to lower it down and then bring the arms back up. And I like to tap the ends of the dumbbells closest to my pinky and do a little squeeze. So we're opening up. And coming around, almost like giving a big hug is what I think about too. A nice big bear hug. But I want you to be squeezing those chest muscles as you bring those pinky fingers up to tap. All right, inhale down, exhale. And inhale, and exhale. So for that particular exercise, the chest fly, you may have to go down in weight. I used to go down to eight pounds, and um, now I can do them all with the 10 pounds with the, um, with the ankle weights um, sometimes as well. Okay, so this next one, I'm usually standing for this one, but you can be kneeling and you can be seated. This one too, you might need to go down in, um, in weight. So it is the crossover fly, okay? Again, you can be standing in um, squat stance, athletic stance, you can be kneeling, um, you can be um, seated on a block, or you can be seated in a chair, okay? But again, you might need to go down a little bit in weight. See what's the most comfortable. Okay, and then you can see me. All right, so cross body, crossover chest fly. So we're gonna come across and then down. And again, arms can be facing out already. I don't know, I have a tendency to come back into this position and then open back up, but whatever seems to be. And again, I'm kind of coming around my legs since I'm in this position. And then across. So I'm just going to change my angle just to see if it's a little easier to see what I'm actually doing. Okay, I'm coming across. I guess I could almost tap, but I can't quite reach. And across. Okay, exhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, and again, when it comes across, squeeze into that chest on that side. Okay. This next one is just a push up. Okay, this can be very challenging for many people. So, if you do it on your toes 
on your knees. Sometimes I even will go, depending on where I am on my workout, if I'm starting to get really tired, um, I will go onto my counter top um, and just go off the counter. You can go off the wall. These are all options, but I'm gonna show you um, on the knees, push-up, regular chest push-ups. So I come out just a little bit wider than my shoulders. My fingers are spread nice and wide. Hands are almost under my shoulders at this point, but they will be when I come down. Okay, knees are bent. You can cross the toes or come up on the toes, whatever feels comfortable. We're gonna engage that belly, shoulders back and down. We're gonna inhale. Exhale, come up. Inhale. Exhale, come up. Keeping the head in line with the body. Inhale. Exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Okay? So, nice and slow down. Again, if it's too much on the knees, just go to a wall or the counter and start working on that and just really squeeze when you come back up, okay? So it's a little bit harder than, than the other ones. Okay, the next is gonna be chest squeeze. And I'm gonna be in seated position. And this one too, you might have to go down and wait just because we're gonna bring the arms up into this position so it's away from the body and then we're gonna come together okay and if you go to the gym you're likely going to find the machine that has this so it really engages right out into here okay so weights come in close to the body i bring them up i bring them up i bring them up okay from here inhale exhale squeeze together and open squeeze together and open again soft fingers but good grip elbows in line with shoulders squeeze and open inhale exhale inhale and exhale last one inhale and exhale Bring the weights in, lower them down, nice and controlled. And again, gauging, keeping everything as close to numbers as possible. But if you need to go down and wait, don't hesitate at all. Okay, back to something that is a little bit more difficult is plank rows. So again, this is, I didn't mention this earlier, but for the, um, the push-up sometimes on the wrist is really difficult for people. So you can do on your fist or another option is doing the push-up on, on your hands on the weights. Okay, so all options, it's kind of the position we're gonna be in now. So it's not a full plank, I'm on my knees. You could be, if you want to, be in full plank. But for this, I'm gonna stay on my knees. I like to bring them in a little bit more narrow. And again, it's inhale, exhale, pull this up, and come on down. Inhale, exhale, pull up, and come on down. Inhale, exhale, up, and down. And my knees are a little bit wider than hip because of that weight transfer. Exhale, and down and exhale and down trying not to open up the body keeping it strong as possible okay so a little bit higher up there on the challenge but um, worth it to just try to start doing a couple of those if it feels right for you to do that if all the other ones are feeling like they're not challenging anymore okay so we did the chest press we did the narrow chest press. We did the chest fly. We did the crossover flies. We did your basic push-up. We did um, chest squeeze. 
and then we finished it off with plank rows, okay? So you should be feeling nice and warm across this chest area. Okay, so for stretching, a lot of times I'll teach in the office um, the door stretch, okay? But I don't have the camera angle or that for here. So if you have the door stretch, continue doing the door stretch if I've taught you that. There's no problem. Just make sure whatever door you're in, you're in, that both your elbow and hand can ten, can lean into that that door stretch. Okay, but if not, we have a couple options. We're gonna attempt to bring our hands behind our back. You can intertwine and give a nice pull. Again, not too much movement in here. This stays nice and anchored, and we're just opening up that stretch. Or we can do the clasp behind and keep moving. Or if you need to, you get a band and you do the stretch like this, or we're just holding our wrists or our forearms. But if you can get in fully back into here, then go for it, okay? The next option is bringing the palms behind the head, just fingertips, and we're opening up the elbows out to the side. Okay, inhale and exhale. We'll do our six to eight breaths or our one minute count. Okay, from this position, I love to just stretch up and then fully open. And then I usually do that a second time. Bring my fingertips behind because it's also opening up, peeling that shoulder blade off of this, the rib cage, which I really like, especially on my left side. And then I go ahead and reach up and then all the way around. Okay, so that's three options. Behind with your hands or the band, reaching behind, whether it's hands, wrists, or elbows, or fingertips, and then reach up and down. And the last one we can add to this would be our forward fold, flat hands, and then onto fingertips. Okay, so getting into position, inhale, exhale, come down, open up the knees slightly, walk those fingers forward, and drop that head down. And then from there, if you want, coming up onto your fingertips and feel that stretch deepen a little higher up. And always when we finish these forward folds, kneeling forward fold, it feels so good to just take your time and roll vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up and then finish with some delicious shoulder rolls. All right, I hope you're feeling strong across here and now nice and open. Again, we wanna be stretching these muscles because that is the most common pattern for us is to get stuck in is this tight um, pecked muscles here. So. We want to be working them because we want them to be strong and functional, but we want to also have that movement and flexibility so that we open up this area so that our lungs can work better, our heart, a whole, whole circulatory system can just operate. We have less digestive, digestive, <laughs> I can get that word out, digestive issues because when we're closed in, we're also putting pressure on our intestines and our stomach and all that. So having that open. So if you do the back workout, you want to follow it. You want the back strong, you want the chest strong, but we want everything to be able to be nice and open as well. So I hope you're feeling great and I hope you have an awesome day.